that hasn't been seen in decades and it was missing for so long that many didn't even know it existed until it turned up in an Omaha parking lot. This story you'll only see on six. Marla Lundak spoke with the man who found it and even Taylor Swift has a connection to the star of the long lost movie. On a projector in this Kansas City home. First, I was relieved that it wasn't going to explode. Gary Huggins cues up a recent discovery. Wow, I think I've discovered this film that nobody's seen in at least 50 years, if not 100. Gary, a filmmaker himself, picked up the film at an auction in Omaha last year. A distributor that had been in Omaha for decades that had gone out of business a while ago and this auction house had some of their films. And so I drove up just for that, just to see what was up there. Everything there had to go. In one table there were eight or nine stacks, about three or four feet high of films. It was an old cartoon on one pile that caught Gary's eye, but to get it, he had to buy the whole stack. This, this stack was $20. It was the best 20 I've ever invested, for sure. In that stack. The fact that this movie was discovered a century after it was made, when does that happen? A silent film from 1923. That was a big, big rush when I realized it was a Clara Bow. Clara Bow was the most popular film star of the late 1920s. She was also the, the first sex symbol in American film. That's the voice of David Sten, Clara Bow's biographer. Men wanted to have her and women wanted to be her. And you have to imagine a, a time when the idea of a woman having independence and autonomy didn't exist. And you went to the movies and saw Clara Bow. She was really the first truly liberated woman on screen. Before the 1950s, movies were made using nitrate, a combustible, unstable chemical, and thousands of movies decomposed because of it. So I thought, we'll never find this film. Sten estimates 80% of all silent movies have been lost, including about half the movies Clara Bow was in. This is so rare, it's so obscure. It was made by an independent studio. It was made in Queens, New York. What Gary bought in a parking lot in Omaha that day turned out to be a master copy from an original nitrate film printed on safety stock. It's completely mint and perfect. And while the internet seems to know everything, this movie called The Pill Pounder was nowhere to be found. Usually when you look up a film online, somebody has something to say about it. And it seemed like nobody had seen it. And that was the first clue that maybe it was missing. He had no idea. He found the only known copy. Kind of amazing. Gary later sold the print to Clara Bow's biographer. When someone said to me, called me and said, would you be interested in a print of the pill pounder? I assumed that they were making fun of me because I thought, would I be interested? It would be a miracle. And it is a miracle. This April, it will re-premiere at the San Francisco Silent Film Festival, the first time it's been shown on the big screen in 101 years. Yeah, I'd love to see it, to see what it looks like, to see it, just to imagine that a film made 101 years ago could look that good and be preserved that well. That's really like a time machine, you know, like you're going back in time. Bruce Crawford of Omaha is a film historian. For 30 years, he's invited Omahans to watch classic movies and hear from those involved in their making. Well, Clara Bow, like I said, she was uh, not quite to say Taylor Swift-like, but she was really super popular back in the 20s. She was a phenomenal person. The film's resurgence is serendipitous. Just months after it was found, Taylor Swift announced her upcoming album. The 16th song on the track list is called Clara Bow. She didn't break the mold, she created the mold. And now, someone much of the world has forgotten about will be reintroduced through lost film and new music. And for Gary, who unknowingly bought the film for just $20 after he sold it, he was able to buy himself a ticket to Tokyo. That's where his own film called Kick Me is premiering this month. And now, because of Clara Bow, he's able to be there in person. On your side in the studio, Marlo Lundak, 6 News.